All right, time for our best bets for February 29th, 2024. Kramer, what do you have for the college hoops? Um, and happy uh, leap day to all who celebrate. Yes. Um, we get this uh, beautiful extra day to bet on college basketball. Um, and even Colby attempted to slander it by calling it a light slate. My locks. Well, I'm not going to start off uh, a day that only happens once every four years with a dog. So let's uh, Ohio state it right away. Minus mm. two and a half. Okay. Good opportunity to fade. I, I'm not getting into these weird conferences. I don't know enough about them. Sean, I want the stuff in my pocket is going to be in my pocket. Uh, secondly, uh, cause I'm sure one of you is going to throw that UMass Lowell game out and, and you guys are absolute savages for doing so. All right. My second lock Eastern Washington solid squad. Like Colby said, we like the big sky, some good competition at the top. We're going to lay the five. I love how you set it up with, I'm not going to go with these weird conferences, only conferences. I know a lot about big, big sky and summit league. We, we have watched okay. a lot of out here. We are West coast guys, Sean. Um, please pay attention to the program <laughs> for my dog. I'll leave a uh, CSUN for you, Sean, assuming I've taken another dog. Rutgers cannot be laying this many points period. Michigan uh, take him as a dog Wolverines, I, you know, probably not mistaken a Wolverine for a dog, but I think they make pretty good dogs. Uh, wow. Quick, quick anecdote about a Wolverine uh, in uh, I believe it was South Africa, but it's a buddy of mine was, uh, was hunting. And uh, one of them chased him up a tree, almost killed him. So really, a wolverine, real live wolverine. Wow! Yeah, I didn't realize they were that dangerous. They're, I don't think they are. That's why the story was funny. I think <laughs> it's the equivalent of like, like it, to a South African, it's like a squirrel uh, chasing you up a tree. So Michigan on the money line. Probably the only time you'll hear me say something nice about Michigan playing a New Jersey squad. I'm gonna keep it in the West Coast. Uh, gonna take the Bruins catching the number there in mm. Washington, and then uh, good luck uh, taking our Cougs laying the big number against USC, and then of course the Matadors on the money line. Our UC Irvine on upset alert. Storm, storm, storm. We call ourselves the Stormtroopers. SGPN Stormtroopers. Feel free to use that, Colby. Got a uh, weird helmet. Lock UNC Wilmington minus four against Hofstra, the Flying Dutchman. Um, what? You, you didn't know that about Hofstra? Um, no, no, no. I'm just it's a wild uh, pick. The the next lock is South Dakota State. All right, their mm. name brand there. Got to go brand. with it. Got to go with it. Yeah, he wanted uh, to stay in the area. People could understand what he was saying. It's their conference and the money line. I mean. Because when you're in East Carolina, you go for it every time. Or you don't coach at East Carolina. You don't come to East Carolina. You don't play at East Carolina with a weak heart. Write it. And, and may I throw out that parlay of UCLA and ECU money line? It's just. Oh, well, Colby, what Colby, uh, what about a Sean and Colby alumni parlay? Of uh, CSUN and Ooh. ECU, I do like that angle. Let's go, let's go. Uh, you know, that th th much better programs than Virginia Tech, Sean. Yeah, Ryan, you didn't. Uh, how you dealing with the Syracuse loss? Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Oh, okay. I, we're, but the football team is going to be top twenty-five, eighty-six percent of the returning right. production from last year, including the entire offense. I'm very excited. Kramer drone shredding, strike, drone strike, what, drone strike. shredding the Virginia Tech football <laughs> ticket. Actually, does have, make me higher have on the program. Yes. The Virginia Tech ticket was not shredded. It has oh, been recovered. Okay. There was also some uh, tomfoolery and some uh, extra hands going in the money bag. What's oh. that? What's that Mike Young buyout? And will you be donating? Uh, I mean, I listen. I I'm at, at this point with Virginia Tech. I write checks only uh, on demand. So if there's a good reason, I'll write a check. Yeah, I mean, look, you could you maybe their NIL collective. You know, go get a couple more greenies to that roster. Let's get Buzz back in town. He should be available. Ding. I mean, if Buzz comes home, I'll be stoked. That sounds fabulous. You All got right. a parlay, Kramer? I do have a parlay. Yeah, what are we talking care. parlay? Well, uh, you know we like geography here on the program. Okay. I'm going to say, give me the uh, state of Washington parlay. Gonzaga laying the points. Washington laying the points. Washington State 
laying the points. Seattle laying the points Woo. at Eastern Washington laying the points. So you got wait Gonzaga minus four and a yep. half. Washington State minus seven and a half. Okay. Washington minus four. They're minus four. Seattle minus six. Okay. <laughs> And Eastern Washington minus five. <laughs> I think that's all the schools in Washington. That we, so that's a Kramer we, special. We I'm talked out, about I'm a out on this one. We talked about a tremendous amount of games in the state of Washington, or for schools in this. Well, most of them are home games too. Yeah, but uh, Sean and Colby on the EC. Do we want to put in? Uh, <laughs> do we want to make it a round robin with UCLA, uh, Colby? Yes. No? Yes. Let's go. Let's oh my get, goodness. Yeah, with UCLA, ECU, CSUN, uh, East Carolina, the home, money the line one's parlay. The Homer one's better. You guys sure? Colby, I'll let you decide. Do we include UCLA? No, I like this. Or not? I, I, we got to put UCLA in there because they're going to beat Washington. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of not what I said, but okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, so that that co- that conflicts with Ryan's crazy uh, Washington. <laughs> it's okay. Parlay. It's totally fine. 